Hello, um, Rise children and parents, and anyone else that has joined us on this YouTube um, clip today. Uh, we're going to continue looking at what it is to be in relationship with God. Um, we've so far looked a lot at Jesus. Uh, this week we're going to look um, at prayer and what it means to pray. Um, but before we do that, I want you to do something for me. I want you to get hold of a phone. Maybe it's your own phone. Maybe it's your mum's or your dad's phone. Uh, and what I want you to do is I want you to go into the, the apps page and I want you to count how many apps they have. That's the first trick. I'd like to know how many apps they have in total. I bet it's like 40, 50 odd because we, we live on our phones. I was 20, 30 year old, you know. Uh, and then the other thing I want you to do is to count out how many of those apps, and they can help you with this, how many of those apps are for communicating? Um, so like WhatsApp, Instagram, etc., etc. So I'll give you I'll give you a minute to do that. Uh, so go away for a minute. Count as many apps as, um, as you can, uh, which are communication apps, and then we'll compare to see what I've got um, and go from there. So I'll count you down when we've got ten seconds. Okay. So you've paused for a minute. I hope we've got ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, I wonder what numbers you've got in the communication app. So, I will show you mine because it's good to do that. So, my number was 11, and here are just some of mine. So, we've got phone. Some of you might not even have thought about the phone side. You can use your phones for that. You've got, uh, we've got Google Meet, um, Facebook, Gmail, Yahoo Mail, text. And then some of my favourites, WhatsApp, Zoom, Twitter, um, Messenger. I've um, been messaging people today. All sorts of ways of communicating, haven't we, with each other on our phones. So it used to be that we either rang someone um, or sent them a pigeon back in the old days. Uh, but now there's so many different ways to communicate. And I wonder if you can think why communication is so important. Why is it good to talk to each other? Like I'm sure lots of you have missed talking and spending time with your friends, for example. It's so good that we've got all of these ways of staying in touch, isn't it? Well, the good news is that we also have a God who wants us to communicate with him. He doesn't want us to be down here and not in communication. And I'll, I'll show you the app in one second uh, that we can do to get that communication. But before we do that, let's just read the Bible because it's always good to read the Bible uh, and, and see what it says about communicating with him. So in your Bible, 29, Jeremiah 29, it's roughly in the middle of your Bibles. Um, Jeremiah 29, 12 to 14, um, it says this, Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. How good is that? God will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. It will be found by you, declares the Lord, and will bring you back from captivity. I will gather you from all the nations and places where I have banished you, declares the Lord, and will bring you back to the place from which I carried you into exile. So basically God is saying, if we talk to him, if we pray to him, he will listen and he will join in that conversation. Now, we don't need any of these apps to do that. And they're the ones I've got. We just need this one. Prayer. Not Instagram. I'm going to let you see the Instagram sign there. But no, the only thing we need to contact God is prayer. Um, and that is just talking to God. So a prayer can look like this. Hey, God, um, thank you for all the stuff you do for me. Um, if you could just do this really other nice thing for me, that'd be great. That's a prayer. Or it can be really formal. You see people do this. Dear Heavenly Father, we worship and praise you. That is also prayer. It doesn't matter which way you do it. Praying to God is simply talking to God, having a conversation with him and believing in all your heart that that conversation is a two-way thing and that he will listen. It is so important. And it's a requirement, really, for us as Christians to pray to God because we know that he's done so much for us. So we've got to be grateful and we've got to thank him and give him the glory he deserves. And it's also it's also useful for us, you know, when we're going through bad things, to know that we've got someone that powerful and that knowing that can help us with that. And we can pray to him in those times as well. So it's a massive privilege and advantage to be able to use our prayer app, which is simply just talking to God, which we can do at any time in any place, and knowing that he will listen. 
But it isn't always easy, is it? Because when you get asked to pray in school or in church or in Sunday school, I know I find it difficult and it's my job to do it. Um, but sometimes it's not easy on the spot to pray. So it's really good because Jesus taught us a prayer. And the, and the prayer Jesus taught us is the Lord's Prayer, which is our Father who art in heaven. So that means our Father, God, who is in heaven above us. Simple. Hallowed be your name which means you're worth all the praise and glory. You are King, God, majestic. We worship. So that's hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. So it's your world, your eternity, and we want the things to be done as you want them to be done, Lord. On earth as it is in heaven. So here on earth as well as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Now this could have two meanings. It could mean give us what we need food wise, but it also could mean give us the teaching we need to be able to follow you properly. And forgive us our trespasses. Forgive us our sins. Forgive all those bad things we do as we forgive those who trespass against us. So also we need to be forgiving others who have done bad things for us um, and that affect us. And lead us not into temptation, as pretty self-explanatory, don't let us be tempted by those bad things and deliver us from evil. So don't let bad things become a big part of our life. For yours is the kingdom, so everything belongs to him. The power and the glory, again, that's all God's forever and ever. <laughs> Amen. So if you're ever sure, if you're ever not sure um, what to pray or how to pray, you can always say that prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So do pray. Pray as he taught us. Pray as you feel led. And be confident knowing that you're having a conversation, you're communicating not with one of these apps, but rather with your prayer to the one who loves you and created you and wants a relationship with you. That's all I'm going to leave you with today. Have a great week and God bless. Ciao.